The 90s were full of pop culture moments, but nothing beats the obnoxious, persistent waves of laughter coming out from Beavis and Butthead. Fans of the MTV classic are in for a treat. After the show's long hiatus since 2011 and a movie in June 2022, the duo is making a TV show return with Mike Judge's Beavis and Butthead. Created and mainly voiced by Mike Judge, the new series promises the same. Can't help but to love snarky duo but with different, modern twists. Expect TikTok and YouTube references on the way. Mike Judge's Beavis and Butthead is set to premiere on Paramount Plus on August 4, 2022. Check out some of the show's popular characters. Collider video of the day Beavis, Mike Judge, Beavis, Judge, is one of the two teenage main characters. With his oversized blonde pompadour hair and trademark Hey Hey Snicker, Beavis is introduced as the typical sidekick slash follower counterpart of the duo. But don't let his passiveness fool you. During certain episodes, all hell breaks loose the moment things get crazy. Compared to Butthead's dominant personality, Beavis is more on the submissive side, often falling victim to numerous confrontations, both physical and verbal. Surprisingly enough, Beavis does have his eureka moments. In rare cases, Beavis shows bouts of remarkable intelligent insight on nice topics. But at the end of the day, we all love him as the guy with the Metallica t-shirt. Butthead Boothroyd, Mike Judge, Butthead Boothroyd, Judge, the other half of the show's iconic duo. He's usually speaking with a slight lisp, and just like Beavis, Butthead also has his signature laugh, huh, huh? Similarly, Butthead also sports a yellow ACDC shirt, staying true to their raw rock and roll roots. Butthead is what you call the leader of the duo, he's far more intelligent than Beavis, but still less intelligent than the show's other characters. Because of this, Butthead often gets a little too confident with his plans, no matter how ridiculous they are. Balancing out Beavis' uncontrollable brashness, Butthead likes to keep his cool and rarely reacts to things, unless they're super cool. Daria Morgendorfer, Tracy Grandstaff, Daria Morgendorfer, Tracy Grandstaff, is one of the show's female protagonists. You might know her from her 1997 spin-off show Daria, but she's originally a regular in Beavis and Butthead. Unlike the others, Daria has a high tolerance for the duo's shenanigans. In return, the pair shows great respect for Daria's ability to be on the same frequency as them. In 
certain instances, the duo calls her cool and never tries to hit on her. Daria appears in the show until she moves out of Highland and relocates to Longdale, the main backdrop of her spin-off show. Principal McVicker, Mike Judge, Principal McVicker, Judge, is the principal of Highland High, and also one of Beavis and Butthead's biggest nemeses. McVicker believes that the pair are complete idiots, and has a hard time comprehending that they're in the ninth grade. Despite being in a respectable role as principal, McVicker has little remorse for the student body, he doesn't support his students and believes that some of them are actual criminals. His attitude isn't too surprising, especially coming from someone who has a troubled personality. McVicker is seen to be taking some kind of medication to calm down his nerves and ease his minor seizures. Coach Bradley Buscut, Mike Judge, Coach Bradley Buscut, Judge is a teacher and coach at Highland High and another one of Beavis and Butthead's nemeses. With his strict manly man demeanor, he has no tolerance for fun. His seriousness stems from his time in the Vietnam War, followed by his working experience as a Marine drill instructor. As a result, he has a short temper and doesn't think twice before throwing an angry outburst toward his weak students. He loves making Beavis and Butthead's lives a living hell, to the point he wishes he could kill them. As a teacher, his main subjects include health, sex education, physical education, and math class. Besides that, he coaches the school's varsity football, wrestling teams, and basketball squad. David Van Driesen, Jaroslav Doman, David Van Driesen, Jaroslav Doman, is one of the teachers at Highland High. Compared to the rest of his peers, David is known for his peace-loving hippie vibes. He tends to look at the duo in a more positive light and believes that they have potential. Of course, this doesn't stop David from losing his temper or punishing them from time to time. David often shows his disapproval towards the pair's crude humor and would encourage them through mild lectures and teacherly advice. Tom Anderson, Mike Judge, Thomas Tom T. Anderson, Judge, is an elderly man who stays close by Beavis and Butthead. Back in his heyday, Tom was involved in World War II and the Korean War. Today, he's a staunch veteran with conservative views and poor eyesight. His day-to-day -day activities include drinking beer, doing some tool work, and talking about his days as a soldier. He's become the show's running gag as he's the main victim of the duo's pranks and actions.
From having his pet dog spray painted, or his house destroyed by a tree, there's absolutely no stopping Beavis and Butthead from turning his life into a total mess. Stuart Stevenson, Adam Welsh, Stuart Stevenson, Adam Welsh, is a recurring character who also lives close by Beavis and Butthead. He's the complete opposite of the boys, Stuart is the epitome of the word nerd and is a complete wimp. He's a genuinely nice person who tries to befriend the boys and goes so far as to idolize them. In return, Stuart becomes the boys' punching bag for their dangerously silly actions. Stuart is part of the Christian youth group known as Positive Acting Teens, Pats, which explains his polite and friendly attitude toward the raunchy duo. Toddy Anuzi, Toby Huss, Toddy Anuzi, Toby Huss, is a violent bum who dropped out of Highland High and is now part of a gang. Cruising around in his battered Plymouth Duster and hitting garbage cans recklessly, Beavis and Butthead see him as the very definition of cool. The duo looks up to him and wishes they could join his gang. However, the feeling isn't mutual. Todd continues to assault them and doesn't hesitate to take advantage of the pair when he needs money, 